Oh, she's back. She's back again. What? She is. <laughs> Let's get this video started. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me. Yep. Alright guys, so today is a video about... Wait for it. 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 High school. Yeah, I know. It's about that time again. It's already August. School is about to be in session again in less than a month. Yeah, somewhere around there. I don't know. But we go back in September. And it's August, so a lot of people stay doing like high school videos and stuff like that. So I decided that I would give it a try because around this time it's what people want to see. So here I am doing a video about it. Anyways, so this is a video on seven tips on how to survive high school. You'll survive it even if you don't follow these tips, but so without further ado, Let's get started. Number one. Yes, I'm using flashcards because I still don't know how to edit. Number one is be bold. Make a statement. Whether it be with your actions or maybe with clothing pieces, you know, just kind of switch it up a little bit. You know, go out there and do something that you would never do. So, you know, go out there, be bold, be beautiful. Y'all do what y'all do. So... Making a statement is kind of just like, I don't know, for me it's just kind of like just wear what you normally wouldn't wear. Because for me, I just wear like a lot of statement pieces. But, you know, y'all go out there and y'all do you. Yeah, so I totally forgot to put my earrings in. And now I'm already like four minutes into this video, so... I just put them on now. <laughs> so, bringing this in at number two is join a team or a club. You probably can't see that because the lighting is stupid. But join a team or a club. You know, anything that you'd like. To, it's just like a team or a club is like a second family. Like, they're just people that you can really count on. Like, for me, I'm on the, well, I've been on the volleyball team. <laughs> so, being on the team is kind of just like, it's... It just shines a whole new light on like different people and stuff like that. Plus, you just also can make new friends based off your team or your club that you are in. So, whether it be the chess club, my school has an anime club, uh, we have sports teams, sports we've never even heard of. Like, I'm like, I didn't even know they had this sport. I thought this was only native in Canada. I don't know. But, sport or a club, we have an international club, stuff like that. It's just... Y'all, there are so many opportunities. You want to go out there and make friends. Unless you don't want to make friends. Then go out there and make some friends. Let me just stop talking and move on to number three. Three. The library is the place to go. Seriously. It, it is. It's the place to go. The library... It's just, it's just the perfect place to go. Like... My library, for one, like in my school, we have like little couches, we have like computers just lined up, you know, and there are books everywhere, so you know I'm in heaven. So, y'all already know, like if y'all just don't want to be in class, ask your teacher for a pass, or just, you know, walk out of class, you know, whatever you're big and bold enough to do. That was number one. Whatever you're, you know, bold enough to do. Get a pass, don't get a pass, whatever. But your library is the place to go. If you don't want to be in class, go to the library. If you don't want to be at lunch in the cafeteria with all the rowdy kids, go to the library. You just want to go to the library. Go to the library. Just It's just, it's the perfect place to be. Plus my librarian just loves me and she always needs help. So I always have a pass to the library. Bringing us in at number four is get to know your administration. Yeah, 
Um, coming from me, this is actually a interesting one because, well, you know, administration. Honestly, though, getting to know your administration is actually like a really big plus. Um, you know, you can just, if you're ever having trouble with anything, you can literally just go to like the one that you trust the most or the one that you have like the biggest bond with. Even if you guys are on the out sometimes, you know, just get in there. Just you seriously get, get to know your administration. They can really like even like your guidance counselors and stuff like that. Like get to know them seriously because um, that can really help you out in the long run. Not even just like with high school problems, but they can like really get you like getting going into college and stuff like that. So administration and guidance counselors and even just like creating like a bond with your teachers and stuff. So that they can write you your um recommendation letters is what I'm trying to say. So they can write you ugh. so they can write you your recommendation letters as well for anything that you would need it for. So just be friendly to everyone. And at number five, we have the most important one that I think, and that's. mind your business if it has nothing to do with you if they spoke your name but they ain't coming at you if if somebody trying to square up or whatever because your friend says something and you they friend and they want to be like oh well, i'm gonna hurt your friend by hurting you don't even get all up in that just mind your business or maybe your friend gonna come up to you and they're like yo you never believe what just happened and then they're going off on all this drama stuff i have that and as soon as, as soon as they're done talking, this is my response. That's none of my business. Mm, none of my business. Ain't none of my business. Oh, that's crazy. That's none of my business. Seriously, guys, though. Minding your business. It can, it can take you, it can take you places. It, it'll, it'll take you a long way. Just mind your business. Stay out of other people's business, because if it's not yours, don't get in it. Now, it's different if, like, somebody's, like, having issues and you want to, like, help them. But if it's just drama-related stuff, tell them to go to their guidance counselor or administration if they are being threatened or whatever. Because I have that at my school. That's how I made it this far, by minding my business. Number six is kind of intertwined with uh probably none of these um i feel like they could be but i put it in here anyway at number six and that is trust no one especially not in high school everybody are snakes these days um even your boot thing is a snake uh your best friend is a snake uh your acquaintances are snakes everybody's a snake everybody talking about you behind your back and everybody knows it so that's why you should have at least two to three immediate friends, even though they can be snakes sometimes too. No, I'm totally kidding, guys. But like people nowadays, they just they just looking for any and every reason to cut you off or start something. So for real, for real, you only really need like two to three friends that are like immediate to you, really really close, people that you can really really trust, and those are people that you just kind of hang with stuff like that you know but um you don't need to trust nobody and last but not least the most cliched one of them all just be yourself <sighs> how many times do i get tired of hearing that but seriously guys, being yourself goes a long way because technically not being yourself or pretending to be someone else, you're being a snake. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? No, I'm totally kidding. Uh, but seriously, like being comfortable in your own skin and doing you and being comfortable with who you are and just your personality and the way that you dress and the way that you look and how you respond and don't respond and how you just interact with other people, that's just who you are. And if people don't ride with you, Take them out the car. Just drop them off at the nearest bus stop. Because their negativity ain't needed here. So, I know you guys are all probably tired of hearing just be yourself. But, really, in any kind of situation, not even just high school, being yourself is the way to go.
right guys that is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching and if you could hit that subscribe button if you want to hit that like button if you want to or um, leave a comment if you so desire and turn on my notifications if you are itching to do so now that is the end thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one